Hey there everybody what is going on my name is Aditya and welcome back to another brand new video regarding semantic UI and I think so this video is going to be pretty quick because we are just going to be talking about the input elements I'm not going to be talking about the select options that you can see on the semantic UI website because that requires JavaScript and I thought that JavaScript part I would keep completely different than uh, this little part that we need just HTML and CSS for and basically you can see that uh, we are right at the place where we left off in the last episode like you know we just had that little flags uh, code right over there so what we are going to be into doing into the today's video is basically I'm going to be explaining you how exactly the input fields work and how exactly you can create the form elements in your pretty HTML page to make it even more prettier <clears throat> Okay, so the very first thing that I want to do here is I just want to go ahead and cut this little thing right over here. I'm going to press F5 and yeah, there we have it. So what I'm going to be doing is first of all, creating a div. I'm sorry, my throat is a little paining. So I'm going to be creating a div with the class UI form. Now, as, as you might have already noticed it by now, we are using UI every single time and that's because we just want this little thing to be responsive completely. So, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, you know, uh, I, I don't guess uh, some of you might be knowing what exactly UI is used for, but I guess it is just for responsiveness. And UI form and next up, we are just going to be going ahead and creating some fields. So how exactly we do that is just create a div with the class field and what I can do is I can go ahead and put in an input here input type text and let's just say give it a name of name and the next thing that I want to give here is a placeholder to be name okay and what I can do here is I can create a label and label for name now basically why i'm using this name is because i just use it right over here as you can see right over here i used one name for the name let's just say if i was um, you know pretty much doing it like first name and here i would have been typing first name and that, that's how you exactly go ahead and create the label and you can simply just go ahead and put in there first name and if you go ahead and press f5 you can pretty much see it acquires all of the space because we haven't really defined any uh, any kind of uh, specific limitations for that so that's how you exactly do it and let's just say that you want to go ahead and make sure that this little thing right over here is going to be just a little bit uh, less than how much we exactly typed over here now basically in the second part of this series i talked about the grids and you know i, I told you guys that grids are always 16 column grids uh, in semantic ui in bootstrap they are 12 column grids but in semantic ui they are 16 column grids so what we can do over here is i can simply just go ahead and put in there uh, what kind of div i exactly want so let's just say i want a div to be like a f uh, okay so it's 16 i want three of them uh, which is not really possible in any ways so five five six i can do it in that way or what i can do is first name last name and the last part of it will be address or something like that uh, and so what i can simply just do over here is first name will be say i don't know maybe i'm just going to go ahead and make it half up eight wide field and what i'm going to do is simply just copy this little thing and paste it right in over here and what i can do is pretty much just go ahead and type in last name and yeah uh, let me just go ahead and address this little thing because just you are just a beginner i'm just considering that thing when you click on a label it is going to automatically target this little checkbox uh, this little input right over there which you are typing that text box for so you know it is really important to type the correct name so i'm just going to go ahead and put it in right over there um, let's just say first name and here i'm gonna say last name 
and as soon as I press F5 you're gonna be seeing that it takes half of the space that is eight fields eight fields and it is still not in a line now let's just say if you want that in a line what you're gonna be doing is removing this eight wide from right over here and simply just creating a new UI eight uh, okay I'm sorry um, just creating eight wide fields um, I guess that's fields and basically you know you can simply just type in their eight wide field and you may you have just seen that how it exactly did that you know i didn't really had to type their eight wide or seven wide or six wide you know i can center these elements uh, later on i'll be talking about even that thing but we can pretty much just center these elements so that you know they appear in the center right over here and not here and there and we can create a proper form and you know we can put in some little information over there we are going to be creating a little website at the end of this series so don't really care about it lot guys um i'll be i'll be going through exactly everything uh, regarding this little inputs in uh, later on in this series and you know that's uh, that's going to be a pretty much complete with site so and there we have it and let's just say that you want that there are going to be several fields in there let's just say these going fields are going to be two wide fields you can go ahead and do that or if you want like say uh, I don't know maybe five field five wide field because that's most probably what I will use and some of the times what will happen is you want that your first name this little label right over here should be available right over here instead of it being up it appearing over on the top of the input even though the being it on the top of the input is cur currently uh, one of the best practice but if you want that downside th that field what we are going to be doing is typing in here in line field and basically what that is going to do is it is going to make it just like this but notice how it changed its input UI box size to a little less because we don't really use it in this way and even if you are using it it is most probably going to be for you know the things like um, uh, mobile numbers things like uh, I don't know maybe you know some of the times you type in their credit card details some of the times CVV pins and things like that for that things you are going to be using inline elements but I don't feel like it is a best practice if you if it suits your design then you can go ahead and do that but I believe in this little thing right over here and you know I'm just gonna give uh, you can simply just go ahead and mess around these things so that you know you just want to see what exactly happens you can see when I put inline right at the top it doesn't really do anything because inline is a field that, that it is a property that has to be given for every single uh, input element differently so you can simply just go ahead and play around that thing and basically I'm just going to end this video right over here we are going to be talking a lot about this thing we are going to be talking about the checkboxes the toggle buttons the uh, other things like you know uh, select drop down drop down options then you know we are going to be creating a whole form with our own HTML in it and basically you know uh, that's that's what we are going to be doing and I just wanted to address this little thing about five wide field and three wide field two wide field just because this will be helping us a lot in the near future and basically i'm just going to end this video right over here thank you guys so much for watching and hit that like button if you love this video and subscribe to this channel for more content like this and peace out